Professor, please explain the semantic differential scale and the staple scale in today's class. Sure. I explained that there are seven methods of measurement using scales. But this time, I will add one more method to explain the semantic differential scale and the staple scale. The semantic differential scale measures respondents' attitudes towards certain policies, systems, or issues. For example, in a survey asking about respondents' thoughts on government real estate policies, the scale presents opposing adjectives such as negative positive or passive active or unrealistic realistic or leftist rightist at the ends of the response options. It is typically a seven-point scale. This scale is often used to assess corporate or brand images. To further explain the semantic differential scale, respondents select a number within the range of minus 3 to plus 3, based on the opposing adjectives to represent their subjective thoughts. Its advantages lie in its ease of comprehension and the ease of analyzing survey results. However, a disadvantage is that designing accurate response options with opposing adjectives can be challenging. The Staple scale is another scale used to measure respondents' attitudes, similar to the semantic differential scale. However, it overcomes the disadvantage of the semantic differential scale by presenting only one adjective in the middle of the response options. Staple scale was developed by Professor Jan Staple. Jan Staple has been called one of the founding fathers of market research in Europe. He is co-founder of the Gallup International Association. For example, in a survey about the impression of visiting a university, the scale presents an adjective in the middle, and positive attitudes are indicated by positive numerical values, while negative attitudes are indicated by negative values. As shown in the figure, the Staple scale presents adjectives such as feeling at home, harmony of tradition and modernity, academic, and practical, in the middle of the answer sheet, in a survey on the impression of visiting a university, and respondents indicate their opinion. Compared to the semantic differential scale, the Staple scale has the advantage of being easy to construct concise and straightforward items, making it convenient for respondents. However, a potential drawback is that it may be somewhat intuitive and could lead to confusion. Professor, I understood the explanations of the semantic differential scale and the Staple scale today. Thank you very much.